Hey, a pleasant good day everybody, this is Sports Fan News, I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on Wade Allison making his debut on Reverse Retro Night against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Wade Allison is a Flyers a prospect that was of course picked in 2016, second round, uh, 52nd overall by the Flyers, who attended Western Michigan University and just kept getting better each season to eventually become their assistant captain. Um, in their final two years, and just has an absolutely lethal shot that has gotten better and better as time went on, and really overly impressed um, with the Phantoms, uh, covering the Phantoms of Flyers, Nitty Gritty, I'm um, going down there to cover those games, uh, he came in right away, and immediately, I can't remember who the game was against, but got a steal, and then shot a puck top shelf, I mean, his first few games back was generating his own shot when you would think coming back, you got to get your legs under you, you might need to get the passes to get your lethal shot off more. No, he was generating his own shot. Now, so I'm interested to see in the NHL level if he's going to do, I know he's going to impress and do well and be able to get some great shots off, but is he going to be overly impressive? Um, like I said on the Disciples of Ed podcast for Chase, or excuse me, for Always Next Year podcast as well. So definitely uh, check that out. And if you're a baseball fan, check out Chase the Pennant, which is a Phillies um, podcast, is Allison going to overly impress and be able to create his own shots even early on in his NHL career? I think Lazinski um, has looked very good thus far. He hasn't been able to, of course, um, get on the score sheet yet in four games, but I think he's looked pretty good. He's playing at a plus one. He's also looking pretty solid in the faceoff dot uh, thus far, and he went to the Ohio State University, so you're seeing, I like how the Flyers draft guys like Joel Faraby. They drafted Couturier years ago. Um, you drafted Prover off, and you drafted guys that you know will get up quicker, but then you also draft those guys that are just great uh, collegiate guys that you know are going to play at least three or four of their years in college. Jackson Cates, who the Flyers just signed, um, who's a good prospect as well, plays a great 200-foot game, um, played three of his uh, four years at University of um, of uh, Minnesota Duluth there. So I think uh, that's a um, way that the Flyers have just been doing a very, very, very elite job at picking up guys that went to college combined with um, the Fairbies of the world and the Frost who would be up already, who, by the way, is back skating, but uh, per Flair, um, Sam Gerard, um, Sarchiti tweeted, um, is not going to play this year, it seems, but is back skating, so it's very good to see that. But um, our Philadelphia Flyers have an exciting prospect um, in Wade Allison coming up. He, he went to um, college, bulked up. He's already... In a NHL, um, in my opinion, has an NHL shot um, and doesn't really even need to grow all too much because he's already 205. He's 6'2, so maybe you want to bulk up a bit more, but uh, he's already a pretty good NHL shot or NHL size and has a great NHL shot. He had four goals and five assists, so he can set them up too um, in the minors for the uh, Lehigh Valley Phantoms and was a plus nine, so he was also generating pretty good defensive numbers as well. I mean, when he played back in the USHL, he did great, one of the better USHL playoff uh, seasons, and only 11 games had 16 points um, back in 15-16, so he's impressed at every level, he's a guy with a lethal shot, um, good skating ability, comes in at a bigger size, so I think he will also uh, be able to utilize that, and help out the Flyers in that capacity as well, They you would like to see some uh, guys that are bigger, and I think he's a guy that I would not be surprised if they end up pairing him with Lozinski because he was with Tanner Lozinski, uh, Willman, and Allison line in the minors was absolutely lethal and ridiculous for the Phantom uh, before now they're having all the COVID issues um, obviously unfortunately going on where sun up to Sunday's game now as I last heard is what was canceled um, for the Phantoms unfortunately but Allison's a guy to get excited for for the Flyers now I'm more looking at this season and see how guys like Moore and if Hart can get going and the guys specifically can play better in front of them. How the young guys do that come up since Fletcher said in his press conference, that's going to be a big thing going forward. Seeing how these young guys do. And Alex Appleyard is great. If you don't follow him, he's very good. Uh, Alexander Appleyard with his um, stats and analytics says like Isaac like Hogberg, I think Wiley could be thrown in there. Like Get some of these young guys playing time. We're not going to make the playoffs unless if there's a miracle at this point. So just put these guys in, get them some playing time. 
And I think that's the strategy the Flyers are going to use. It's exciting that they already called up Blazinski. Shusko played earlier in the season, but this will be the third fan I'm playing this year. Uh, now with Wade Allison coming up, who has a very good lethal shot. This is a guy that I think is going to be a very solid goal scorer for our Flyers going forward. That's why he was picked in the top two rounds in the second round of that 2016 draft. And then we got a steal of a seventh round pick in Tanner Lazinski, who's uh, doing well, in my opinion, as well, coming out of Ohio State. So I like how the Flyers pick these guys that go to these very good colleges. Is, um, have, get very good coaching and developing from college and also mix it with the guys that you know have the chance to be stars like Fairby that are the young guys that just skyrocket um, to the league. They do a very good job at mixing that. Uh, Allison's a guy that has a chance in my opinion also if he um, sticks in the NHL which I think he will to be a potential assistant up there. He has that leadership quality that's why they gave it to him at a Western Michigan University. Um, and that's a very good um, quality to have. The Flyers need some guys, new leadership and new voices um, in the room as well because we saw this year this team is playing extremely flat as they take on the Pittsburgh Penguins tonight. It's going to be tough to win the game. I'm just looking for these young kids to perform, Hart to have a better game, and the team to just play better in front of Carter Hart in this game. That's the key. And if they can do that, that's the main thing, honestly, that's key with this team because it doesn't seem like they're going to make the playoffs, so we just got to um, take what we can and just have very good games going forward and just kind of have these young guys come in, get their feet wet because they are part of the future core of this team, and that's the most important thing now that it seems like this team has no shot to make the playoffs. I'm excited to see how the young guys do. It's going to be Wade Allison tonight. Maybe he can bring that energy um, to Pittsburgh to be able to uh, – bring it to PPG Paints and uh, beat the Penguins and bring that anytime, anywhere energy there. But I'm not going to predict a win because it's just too hard with this team now. But I do think Allison will play well. I think he will be paired with Lozinski. That would be smart. They have chemistry from the minors. I would definitely put him in there with him some and let those guys try to roll off of that chemistry and keep that hot streak going. And I'm excited to see what he can do and excited to see what Morin can continue to do and the guys can do in front of Hart. So I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, Wade Allison debut video as well as a short uh, preview to the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins versus Philadelphia Flyers. Excited to see what Allison can do tonight and the rest of the young crew. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Let's try to bring some anytime, anywhere energy and actually show some effort tonight against those Pittsburgh Penguins. Peace out, everybody.